page 103. And everyone will receive their reward according to what they merit. So also dying as a conversion or transition slash change to death will take the form that corresponds to the reward of the life. The true prophets decide themselves to carry out their determination or mission by learning the laws and recommendations of the creative or creation and appearance or nature in order to teach them to you in love and dedication so that you may lead a good existence and recognize the truth so that you may create true love and true peace in yourselves and around yourselves from which true freedom and harmony may arise. Truly, the old, true prophets have gone before you to teach you and to guide you, but you persecuted them and you made attempts on their life, because you did not turn around and do not follow in their footsteps, or you do not turn to the truth teaching. But as you do not turn round to the truth and you follow in the footsteps, or follow the beliefs, of the unfair ones or irresponsible ones and the unknowing ones, so you continue to hound the true prophets and make attempts on their life. However, consider that even if you hound the true prophets and try to kill them, you still cannot harm their teaching of the truth, teaching of the spirit, teaching of the life, in the slightest wise, because it exists for all time and is therefore indestructible because it goes forth as instruction from the truth of the creative or creation and from its laws and recommendations. And truly, if you turn yourselves to the instruction, then you will be able to evince or grant thankfulness to yourselves. And there have been so many false prophets at whose side numerous crowds fought for false teachings of fabulated or invented gods and tin gods, and their priests and servants of gods and servants of tin gods. In this wise, innumerable people of your kind, or human beings, were killed or murdered, with evil gewalt and bloodlust, and others were forced into a servitude or bondage, in the belief of the battle hordes, or war hordes. And, as it was like this in times of old before you, it continues to be so, because you are convinced in your false belief in gods and tin gods, as well as being believers in your demoniacal faith. And you do not notice that your fabulated or invented gods and tin gods, as well as their priests and other servants of gods and servants of tin gods, are proclaiming love and peace as well as freedom and harmony, whilst, however, demanding revenge and punishment as well as battle or war and gewalt and retaliation by speaking in favor of the death penalty, and killing or murdering in battles or wars, thereby anointing or blessing, murderous weapons, and the sword of justice for spilling blood of your kind, or blood of human beings, in the name of their gods and tin gods. In truth, true prophets have stood up, or appeared, and have brought the teaching of the truth, the teaching of the spirit, the teaching of the life, but all those who were given the task of writing down the prophet's truth teaching misrepresented it with falsifications and deceptions and lies, and therefore with fabulated or invented additions, and with false explanations. In this wise they created teachings of lies, and those who taught and followed the teachings of lies as higher ones committed deception in the name of the true prophets and evoked battles or wars for spreading a fabulated or invented belief, and they falsified the petition or intercession of the truth and the records or chronicle slash writing of history, and falsely attributed their wrongdoings to the true prophets so that these may be held to blame or responsible for battles or wars and deaths as well as for gewalt and coercion and for all terrible things, although they did not have any share in the battle or war, and bloody deed or murder, and destruction, and in all Ausartungen. Therefore, however, it will be that the last prophet from the line of Nocodemian in the new time 
will be equipped with all necessary things, and will be well versed in writing, so that he will no longer need scribes. Therefore, he will know how to record the teaching of the truth, the teaching of the spirit, the teaching of the life, as set down in the goblet of the truth, and will bring it to permanence in his own words. Do not hesitate, because whatever may happen to you and whatever hits you, you have, since time immemorial and now, and also in the most distant coming time in your possession, the teaching of the true prophets, so that you may not become submissive or weak before yourselves, and also not before those who believe they are your enemies. And always speak the truth, and be the steadfast ones, so that you cannot be accused of lying or slander or calumny, and forgive the people of your kind or human beings their errors, as well as their misdemeanors in their conduct. In this wise, you may strengthen your and their steps so that peace and concord or harmony may prevail amongst you. Consider that you receive the reward of this world according to how you unite amongst one another or live together, and how you do good things amongst one another and practice true love. Consider that if you lend your ear to and listen to those who are wallowing in the untruth and unknowledgeness, then the result will be that you will turn about on your heels or deny the truth, and you will be the ones to lose. The prophets are the protectors of the truth teaching, and you shall be both the protectors of the true prophets and also the protectors of the truth teaching not only at the times when the prophets are living, but also thereafter, so that the teaching of the truth, the teaching of the spirit, the teaching of the life, may become the guideline or signposting slash leading thought to all peoples of your kind or humankind for following the laws and recommendations of the primal raising or creation. Do not be alarmed if you turn away from the untruth and from the unknowledge about the truth and turn towards the guideline or signposting slash leading thought of the life and of the real truth and you commit or obligate yourselves. And if you do not place any fabulated or invented false teachings of baseless or invented gods and tin gods as rivals next to the truth, the truth does not grant any authorization for falseness and lying which dwells in the fire of evil and is the place of shelter for malefactors against the truth. Truly, the prophets have always kept their promises, even if there were some amongst you who beat them and threatened or menaced them with death and, uh, and hounded them because you wavered in recognizing and accepting the truth and loved being connected to the lie instead of to the truth. And since time immemorial, there have been many amongst you, and there remain many amongst you today, who ask for this world of the visible, but also ask for the world of the invisible, in order to test the prophets, because you do not want the truth to be true, but the prophets forgive you, because they are kind-hearted towards you who are unknowing and do, after all, want to find the way to the truth. Do not go forth and look around you when the prophets are calling out their teaching behind you, so that you may not endure any suffering and may not sorrow about the evil and disastrous things that you will lose, which befell you a long time ago, and drove you into fleeing from the teaching of the truth. Let there be innocent love and peace, as well as freedom and consonance or harmony, in you and about you through the teaching of the prophets, so that you may cultivate your dignity as people of your kind or being human in the real and true sense, and do not give any reason for resentment and rage. Since time immemorial, the true prophets have brought you the teaching 
brought the teaching to you for peace and for love, not, however, false teachings of evil, which call for battles or wars, and bloody deeds or murder and destruction. In truth, many of you lead a life as if you were lying in a troubled slumber, tormented by anxious dreams or nightmares slash incubus, because you are living against the truth and only for yourselves, and because you are not bringing your inner world or consciousness to unfolding or evolution. Truly, you are wrongly thinking thoughts of the unknowledgeness and of the untruth, and therefore you do not have any share in the regulation of things as they are given by the laws and recommendations of the creation. And also the regulation of all things shall be a task or cause for you, and therefore you shall fathom out in the regulation of all things what of its sense has been hidden from you, so that you may understand what the guideline or signposting slash leading thought of the life is. If you had used a share of the regulation of all things for yourselves, then you would not kill people of your kind or fellow human beings, and therefore you would not steal or deceive. You would not hate or practice revenge and retaliation, neither would you harbor jealousy or fall prey to battles or wars, and all ausartong. If you had remained by the truth teaching since time immemorial, as was brought to you by the true proclaimers, the prophets, then you would not have lowered yourselves or debased yourselves, allowing yourselves to be driven into hatred and pathological craving for revenge, and into battles or wars, and into all Ausartungen, by the rulers and authorities, as well as by false prophets, and fabulated or invented gods and tin gods, and their priests and other servants of gods and servants of tin gods. If you had remained by the truth teaching since time immemorial, then you would not have allowed yourselves to be commanded to go out in order to wreak decadence, manslaughter, and bloody deeds or murder, and pillage by wars or battles, and transgressions or illegality and outrages or crimes, thereby complying with or following the evil and false resolutions of the instigators or fomenters slash hate mongers and ringleaders. At all times you would have had to prove yourselves in order to stand against the Gavalt rulers and other lords and their demagogues so that you would have cast them from their throne and replaced them with true leaders. Truly, at all times, the people shall provide its own leadership, if it does so rightfully, so that the higher ones are only delegated ones, or deputies, of the people, and do not have might over the people, but are only carrying out the will of the people, because it is the people itself that shall decide on its prosperity and adversity, and not be constrained by rulers and lords, and the higher ones, as well as by false prophets or priests, and servants of gods and servants of tin gods. Therefore, every authority shall be appointed by the people, so that it stands in the people's favor, and only carries out the instructions or directives, through having been authorized or empowered by the people. May the resolution ripen in you that you prove everything, so that you re may reform or clarify everything that must be done, so that your authorities follow the will of the people, rather than you follow the will of the authorities. As a people, you shall be decisive for your prosperity and adversity. Under the good teaching of the teaching of the truth, the teaching of the spirit, the teaching of the life, which is given as the goblet of the truth by the true prophets from the line of Nocodemian, the originator of all true prophets of his line, who taught true love and true peace as well as true freedom and harmony. Those amongst you who turn your back on yourselves in enmity, 
Truly, you are stumbling because of certain things which you do amongst one another in unright. But you shall not meet one another in enmity. Rather, you shall forgive one another and be forbearing. Truly, it is not seemly for people of your kind or human beings to hold people of your kind in enmity, because this brings torments and depravity in the thoughts and in the feelings as well as in the psyche and the inner world or consciousness.